हेलो एवरीवन सो लेट्स डू वन मोर लैप अबाउट द ओ एस पी एफ ओके सो लेट मी टेक सम राउटर आई एम टेकिंग दिस राउटर टू एट डबल वन यू कैन टेक एनी वन नो इशू आई एम डूइंग दिस लैब इन द पैकेट ट्रेसर इफ यू वॉन्ट टू डू दिस लैब इन द ई वी एन जी जी एन एस थ्री यू कैन डू देर ओके एनी वेयर यू कैन डू नो इशू सो लेट मी टेक दिस वन आई एम डूइंग दिस लैब इन द packet tracer so i taken this routers and i am going to connect this from the router all the routers and here what we will do we will take some switch we will take one switch here one switch here and we will take some pc one pc here and one pc here okay this is a topology we are going to use from here to here and here also we are going to take the automatic cable to connect this one so let me connect here this is a small topology we are going to configure the ospf okay this router is having only two ports so what i will do i will add more switch off this one and drag and drop from here this is one i need two ports so i will take here this is two port i will power on the router here also same thing i will uh, go to the physical switch off and put the interface card here this one and power on the router now i will connect i will take the cable from here to here and from here to here okay let me organize i hope now it is clear we need to do the ospf configuration so ip schema what we are going to use let me first of all give the name this is r1 i will give this is r2 i will give this one as a r3 and this is as a r4 okay ip schema we are going to use here i will give here this side 192.168.12.1 this side 192.168.12.2 this interface okay like this and here we are going to use 192.168.1.1 okay and here we will use 192.168.2.1 and this side we will use 192.168.20.1 here we will use 192.168.23.2 okay and this side we will use 192.168.14.1 and this interface 192.168.14.4 14.2 this one and this interface 192.168.34.2 and here we will use 192.168.34.1 okay so ip schema is clear for you right whatever we are going to use this one here this one here for this interface this for this interface this for this interface this one and for this interface this and this interface will be this one okay so now let's do the lab if you want i will take the notepad so we can do the configuration in the notepad and join our telegram uh, channel in that one we are going to share this lab file as well as the configuration file okay so that will help you so try to join that one i will do the configuration for r1 so uh, r1 configuration enable config t host name r1 
then interface fast ethernet 0 by 0 if you see this one i am doing fast ethernet 0 by 0 then i write ip address 192.168.12.1 and we will write no shirt here then another interface that is fast ethernet 0 by 1 this one i am saying fast ethernet 0 by 1 i will write here ip address 192.168.14.1 255.255.255.0 and we write no shirt here then we have one more interface fast ethernet 1 by 0 this one i am saying this and then i write ip address what is the ip address we plan to give here 192.168.1.1 i write no shirt here okay so what i done just i assign the ip address to the router r1 now we are going to enable the OSPF, we are going to use the interface method. Because in the real scenario, we are using interface method only. Most of the time we are using interface method in the industry. In the enterprise network, we are using interface method. So let's take that one. Router OSPF1, okay. Then interface fast ethernet 0 by 0. IP OSPF1 area 0. If you write process ID 1 here, here also should be 1. If you use here 2, then here also 2. Okay, I need to enable how many interface? 1, 2, 3. So what I will do, I will copy, I will paste here, then we will modify this interface here. Okay, very fast, right? Did you understand or any confusion? What I done under this interface, I go under this interface, I enable the OSPF. I go under this interface, I enable the OSPF. I go under this interface, I enable the OSPF. That's all. This is the R1 configuration. If you want, we can paste and check. If anything go wrong or everything is working perfectly, we can go to the CLI of the router. I will paste the configuration here. Okay. Let me write no and then let me paste the configuration. I paste the configuration if you see everything work perfectly no error no doubts okay no error everything is working perfectly if you want I will save the configuration WR we use to save the configuration now we need to do the R2 configuration so I will copy this R1 configuration I will paste this configuration here and we are going to modify that one okay so let's see how we can do that one this one is a R2, this one is a R2 and I am standing here. I have fast ethernet 0 by 0, IP should be 12.2, .2, so this should be 12.2. .2. I have fast ethernet 0 by 1, this one, IP should be 23.2 dot, 23 dot two. 2 or 1, 23.1 .1, and we don't have this interface. Okay, so I will remove that and we need to enable we have only two interface fast ethernet 0 by 0 fast ethernet 0 by 1 and now i need to enable enable ospf here in this interface fast ethernet 0 by 0 and fast ethernet 0 by 1 so this one no need because we don't have this interface okay that's all under this interface and this interface i enable the ospf so r2 configuration finish now we need to do r3 configuration okay so let me copy this one from here to here. I will paste here and we will do that one. Okay. And before going to that one, let me paste this configuration in the R2 router. So let me go inside the R2 and do this configuration. Let's see. When we paste here, everything work perfectly. No error, nothing. Okay. So let me save the configuration and go for the r3 configuration so this one we will modify this should be r3 r3 fast ethernet 0 by 0 will be 23.2 so this should be 23.2 okay here f0 by 0 then f0 by 1 34 34.1 okay and this one fast ethernet 1 by 0 2.1 so this should be 2.1 and the ospf configuration will remain same because both are in the same area and we need to enable all interface f0 by 0 f0 by 1 f1 by 0 so this remains same okay so this configuration is good 
I can copy, I can paste in the R3. Let me go here, right now, and then let me paste the configuration here. If you see everything work perfectly, no error, nothing. Okay, let me save the configuration also. After that, I will write the configuration for R4. So R4 configuration is very simple. Let me copy this here. I will divide this notepad. I will paste here. I will modify this. This should be R4, R4, and R4 fast Ethernet 0 by 0, 34. So this should be, let me correct this one, 34 dot 2 okay this one and this fast ethernet 0 by 1 should be 14 dot 2 so 14 dot 2 okay and here fast ethernet 0 by 0 fast ethernet 0 by 1 so we enable the ospf under this and this interface only two interface we have so that's all let me copy and paste this is only the configuration for r4 let me go here let me write here no and then we will check okay it's work now let me save the configuration and meanwhile we will assign the ip here i will put the label here 192 1.2 and i will go i will do the configuration i will assign the ip address ip this one gateway should be 1.1 the router interface ip this one here I will go, I will assign the IP, I will put the label for this one 2.1, 2.2 and let me assign here, I will go to the computer, I will assign IP here and the gateway should be 2.1, ok. Now we can check this guy can communicate with this guy or not, already OSPF is working, we will check anyhow, we will check that one also, 192.168.1. 2.2 let's see it is working or not request timeout now it is working perfectly so this pc that is 192 1.2 is communicating with 2.2 it is working perfectly and if you want to check here you can go and check also here show ip root you can see o stand for ospf if you see this one so we are getting this root okay you are having the two root same cause equal cause so they will do the load balancing okay and also if you see this one or let me show you one way show ip root ospf now you will see only ospf root if you see if you want to go 192.168.2.0 network then the traffic will go this two link 12.2 or 14.2 both are having the equal cost so they will do the load balancing and here also if you see 23.0 they have the equal cost so they will do the load balancing but what we will do i will show you the database show ip root we are getting the root if you check show ip ospf neighbor we will have the neighbor here okay we have the neighbor here and if you want to check show ip ospf database we have the database here okay and if you check if you send the packet from here to that pc it is working perfectly if we go here and write ping it is working perfectly so what we done here just we are sending the traffic from the pc1 to pc2 it is working perfectly okay so this is our lab for the ospf thank you bye